Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's okay this morning on our prayer request. Um, pray for the families of the people killed in the tornado in Kentucky and pray for anyone affected in other states as well. It, it's a mess if you've been following it. Um, it's a terrible thing. Uh, Kim Westervelt's COVID test was negative. That's great. Uh, her friend Sally's out of quarantine and went to church with Kim the uh, last Sunday. Angela Gonzalez needs prayer for depression and anxiety. Uh, Becky, our friend, is going to Vanderbilt. Uh, she went Tuesday, and uh, today she's having an operation to replace a valve in her heart. Pray all goes well. And a, a Joy spoke to her on the phone, and... Um, She's, she's just very, very nervous. Uh, you know, uh, you, you can imagine, you know, you, you would be too. And, you know, I, I've, I've been there, not, not with any kind of heart ailment, but, you know, I've been there with all the surgeries I've had. And you never, uh, you're never at ease before it, you know. Um, Chris's wife passed away from cancer. She left behind four young children. Pray for the family. Uh, Lisa's grandson started drinking again is in, the, in is in the ICU and has diabetes. Pray he'll be okay. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 21. Just as a body, the one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were baptized by one Spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one Spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. Now if the foot should say, Because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not not for that reason stop being part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body. It would not, not for that reason stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, there would where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, I am his hands. He, uh, Haxila lost his sight in the year 2000. His friend Hia Wingi, Wingi lost his arms as a child, but they found a way around their disabilities. I am his hands and he is my eyes, Haxis says. Together they're transforming their village in China. Since 2002, the friends have been on a mission to regenerate a wasteland near their home. Each day, Haxila climbs on Wingi's back to cross a river to the site. Wingy then hands Hyaxa a shovel with his foot before Hyaxa places a pail on the pole between Wingy's cheek and shoulder and as one digs the other waters. The two plant trees more than 10,000 so far. Working together we don't feel disabled at all, Hyaxa says. We're a team. The Apostle Paul likens the church to a body, each part needing the other to function. If the church were all eyes, there'd be no hearing. If all ears, there'd be no sense of smell. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you, Paul says. Each of us plays a role in the church based on our spiritual gifts. Like Haya Haxia and Haya Wingi, we then combine our strengths. We can bring change to the world. Two men combining their abilities to regenerate a wasteland. What a picture of the church in action. Based on your spiritual gifts, what part do you play in the body of Christ? How are you 
joining with others to fulfill his mission. Holy Spirit, thank you for giving me spiritual gifts and arranging me in a body where I'm needed. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer requests and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning and I will see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye everyone and God bless.